the third of our four children, um, started on a journey without telling us at all. So we had no idea. Um, and when I found out, um, I didn't tell anyone because she hadn't told anyone. She was still living as a young man. And then the next issue was that in order to access treatment, she had to come out at work. And I knew that was going to be disastrous. And indeed, I was right. So she had three years of absolute hell, uh, which had a very serious effect uh, on her mental health, um, and also quite a significant effect on her physical health. Seeing your own child, even though, of course, by this time a, a young adult, go through the kind of torture that she had, um, was incredibly painful. So after two weeks of horrible cross-examination, in which the other side's barrister kept calling her Mr. Reed, even though she was presented as a woman, um, the actual people judging the case found in our favour. But by then, the experience of being cross-questioned, doubted, misgendered, it had a very, very negative effect on our daughter. So at the end of that, although we'd won, the key thing was actually stop it happening to other people. We find it very difficult to say that one thing is more important than another, that we, to prioritise one thing, we just tend to respond to whatever comes our way. And we feel across the board, education is needed. It's very helpful to be a parent in that situation because you're in a better position to get the message across to other parents because they can't be saying to us, you don't know how difficult this is. Yes, I do. I've been there. We must stop it happening to other people. You know, that's why we spend so much time with families, with medical practitioners, schools, universities, employers, helping them to support trans people. Because the better you can do that, and the earlier you can do that, the better.